Mr. Jim Topoleski. Sir, you have five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Tiffany and committee members. As mentioned, my name is Jim Topoleski. I have approximately 40 years in the fire service, all at the ground level, eventually promoting all the way through the ranks within the fire service. And during this time, I've spent 25 years on federal and state incident type one management teams as an operations section chief and have traveled across the country in suppression of fires or disasters as that we are uh, responded to. The basis of my testimony today is my experience, knowledge, and skills related to technology and fire suppression management. I am honored and proud to be here today representing the San Bernardino County Fire Protection District, where we serve a population of approximately 2.1 million over a land mass of almost 20,000 square miles. We are the largest county in the continental United States. San Bernardino County is a diverse geographical region with large coastal valleys, mountainous terrains, expansive desert areas. San Bernardino County is home to one of the most populated and recreated, recreated national forests with approximately 75% of the county's land mass comprising federal lands. San Bernardino ha County has a history of profound large-scale destructive wildland fires and natural disasters that pose significant challenges for our responders. The recent York fire, which occurred this past July in the Mojave National Preserve in the eastern reaches of San Bernardino County, was one such fire. The fire consumed 93,000 acres of critical natural habitat, destroyed and damaged several residents, and threatened electrical distribution to Southern California and the Las Vegas regions. Beyond this, the fire crews were challenged due to lack of communication capacity or cellular phone data service and connectivity could have been improved. Another routine encounter that we must overcome is the coordination of unified operations between our federal, state, and local partners that operate on different technology platforms. Another major challenge is inadequate radio communication systems. The 93,000 acre York fire was one such incident in not only having cellular and data connectivity um, pro issues, throughout a large majority of the fire area, but the backbone of our ability to communicate radio communication not only proved to be challenging, but placed our firefighters' safety both in the air and on the ground in jeopardy. Fire personnel had to and continue to establish workarounds to communicate effectively. This has become a standard practice to work around the ineffectiveness of our radio system shortfalls and should not be accepted in modern communication technology. This act will provide the needed test bed program and mechanism to facilitate fire agency interoperability across multiple agency platforms. This interoperability is critical to San Bernardino County, our wildland fire response forces comprised of the US Forest Service and the Bureau of Land Management. It would also provide for the safety and welfare of our firefighters have identified in the Deagle Act resource tracking, commonly known as DART. DART intends to track the location of our resources and display those resources remotely. For the, us in San Bernardino County, the absence of technology deployment, maintaining accountability of resources, personnel, and fire locations presents further challenges in keeping fires small. Deploying engaging assets in rugged terrain with access, accessibility challenges, low light and smoky conditions is also done on a often done on a trial and error basis. Utilizing automatic vehicle location, AVL tracking and personnel tracking provides for safe and rapid deployment by having a real-time view, which is critical to keeping fires small, more importantly provides for the safety and accountability of our firefighting personnel. Finally, it will help provide real-time information to emergency managers, law enforcement, policymakers, and the public in an easy to digest format that can be agnostically viewed across a spectrum of platforms. Federal, state, and local fire agencies and private partnerships must seek to develop and further refine these critical technologies to reduce the risk to our communities, infrastructure, and environment that our personnel face. It is with this that I ask you to support 4235, and if there's any questions I may be able to answer, please ask. Thank you for your testimony, and I'd like to ask unanimous consent for a statement from Representative Barr, the lead author of the uh, White Oak Resilience Act, in support of that, H.R. 5582 be added to the record for today's hearing. Without objection, so ordered. 
And with that, 